Welcome everyone and thank you for tuning in to hear my trading and market updates. This is Uncle Frank and I'm not a financial advisor, nor is any of the content to be construed as financial advice. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. Please remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed the presentation and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're alerted when I have new information to share. So now let's get into the latest updates. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a great Saturday and you probably saw what happened yesterday. The S&P 500 closed up 1.45%. The Dow rallied over 700 points to finish up 2.12%. And the NASDAQ finished up 1.07% on the day. And why? With just two days to spare, President Joe Biden signed legislation today that lifts the nation's debt ceiling, averting an unprecedented default on the federal government's debt. So, are we out of the woods? Not so fast, Sleepy Joe. Headline from Bloomberg, trillion dollar treasury vacuum coming for the Wall Street rally. With a debt ceiling deal freshly signed into law by President Biden today, the U.S. Treasury is about to unleash a tsunami of new bonds to quickly refill its coffers. This will be yet another drain on dwindling liquidity as bank deposits are rated to pay for it. And Wall Street is warning that markets are not ready the negative impact could easily dwarf the after effects of previous standoffs over the debt limit the fed reserves program of quantitative tightening has already eroded bank reserves while money managers have been hoarding cash in anticipation of a recession and before we get started with the amc and xrp material this caught my eye ai controlled drone goes rogue kills human operator in simulated u.s air force test from the article an ai enabled drone turned on and killed its human operator during a simulated test so that it could complete its mission uh, this was reportedly said by a u.s air force colonel at a conference in london now for you csi fans you know how csi loves chat gpt well, he won't love it so much if his toaster oven jumps up off the counter and beats him about the face, head, neck, and chest, will he? Got to keep an eye on this AI crap. Now, I've said it a hundred times, but it bears repeating. The only place that we can beat them is where they can't cheat, and that's at the box office. I'm getting really excited about the summer movie season. Let's start with this headline from Collider. The Little Mermaid box office soars to impressive worldwide totals. It looks like things are going swimmingly for The Little Mermaid. The highly anticipated live action remake of the 1989 Disney animated classic dominated the domestic box office last weekend. And it looks like this mermaid has legs and the film just crossed the $250 million mark at the global box office officially breaking even on its $250 million budget, not including the film's massive marketing budget, and propelling past disappointing international box office numbers, which were no doubt influenced by ratings bombings on international review sites. But I've got something better. Now, this could actually develop into a white swan. I knew this was going to be big, but didn't know it was going to be this big. A headline from Deadline. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse posts best opening day of 2023 to date. Here's from the article. How big is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? With an opening day of 51.7 million, it's the biggest opening day of 2023 to date for a movie. The gross is beating Super Mario Brothers. Wednesday of 31.7 million, and even Disney Marvel Studios opening day for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which was 48.1 million. You know what? This could spiral into something more. And now, guys, I want to take some time to review an article that came out in the street yesterday from Bernard Zambonin, titled, AMC Stock, Telltale Signs of a Potential Short Squeeze. With a court hearing on the Ape class action lawsuit coming up, June promises to be a volatile month 
for AMC Entertainment. So far this year, AMC stock has outperformed the S&P 500 with a 14.5% increase. Now, to be accurate, I've got 11.79% at the time of this recording. AMC short sellers have racked up mark-to-market losses of approximately $159 million, thanks largely to sky-high borrowing fees. Now, that's for all you people that think cost to borrow doesn't matter. AMC's upcoming court hearing, combined with other developments, may create enough volatility to cause a short squeeze. So far this year, shares of AMC have taken investors for a wild ride. The movie theater chain stock shot up as much as 93% in late February and is currently up 14.5%, outperforming the S&P 500 by about 5%. Estimates suggest that some $662 million worth of short interest in AMC is currently at stake. Since the beginning of 2023, short sellers have seen about $159 million in mark-to-market losses. Much of these losses can be explained by an increase in short interest in AMC. The fees short sellers must pay to borrow stock to short depend on supply and demand. Because a lot of short sellers are opening positions in the stock, these fees are on the rise. Currently, borrow fees for AMC are around 65% annualized. Still, that's nowhere close to the fees short sellers had to pay at the beginning of April nearly 1,000%. Now the article continues. Arbitrate, arbitrage traders are shorting AMC. The main reason for the intense short activity in AMC this year is the fact that some traders are using an arbitrage strategy targeting both the stock and the AMC preferred equity units or APE. With this strategy, traders short AMC while assuming a long position in APE. They're betting the spread between the two equities will be eliminated once the apes are converted to common stock. It should be a practically guaranteed win, but, 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 the conversion has been delayed by a class action lawsuit, thank you, no voters, resulting in mounting losses for the short sellers. And if AMC shares head further upward, the short sellers will likely lose even more money to a short squeeze. Buckle up for a volatile ride in June. In April, AMC shares rallied after the class action lawsuit put the brakes on the APE conversion. In theory, this was bullish for the company's common stock. But in May, AMC experienced a correction, with shares falling about 20%. Currently, AMC is in limbo, which could present an opportunity. According to renowned short seller investor Jim Chanos, who holds short positions in AMC, when meme stocks rally, the time to enter these trades has already passed. Based on this logic, a brief decline in AMC stock could present a new opportunity to enter the trade. The court hearing scheduled for the end of the month regarding a settlement on the class action suit that has prevented the conversion of apes may lead to increased volatility in AMC in June. So Uncle Frank, what's the bottom line as you see it? Well, number one, if you see AMC Common drop hard suddenly and Ape spike suddenly, that's the smart money saying the settlement is going through and the Ape conversion is on the way. And I would expect the exact opposite if the case gets delayed again or something unexpected pops up which is what I'm personally rooting for. It's my hope that this postcard fiasco is such a mess that an independent shareholder and or share count is ordered. That, in my opinion, would present an opportunity to expose the synthetic shares if they exist and could even prompt a short covering event. I can say one thing with 100% certainty. Adam Aaron doesn't believe there are any synthetic shares and will take any action necessary to avoid a short covering event. That's only my opinion. This is not investment advice, and I am not an investment advisor. 
So now let's add it all up. On Friday, AMC closed flat at 455. The Ape finished at $1.59, bringing the consolidated price of AMC and Ape to 6.15, up 0.33% on only 12 million shares traded. Now, based on that last price of 455, expect support to the downside for AMC at 450 and 444. To the upside, expect resistance at points 464, 472, and 478. Stay with me. Now, the first swan to keep an eye on that we already covered is the trillion dollar treasury vacuum coming for this Wall Street rally. These bond sales will begin on Monday and they will rumble through every asset class as they claim an already shrinking supply of money. Now, let's add to that hedge fund industry borrowing recently hit record highs, according to Reuters. Now let's add to our equation that hedge fund investors pulled a record $11.6 billion from hedge funds this April. Now let's finish off our equation by saying AMC Common is oversold according to recent relative strength index readings. And I'm hoping something comes up in the case that spoils the plans of conversion supporters and catches all of our arbitrage short sellers by surprise, forcing them to cover. Now, AMC Investor Relations is never going to report on any of this good news, so I will. Over at AMC's movie merchandise website, the popcorn container Morales is already sold out. Okay, and at least on Twitter, you can see people making their AMC popcorn retail purchases. And also, another thing we'll never hear about from Investor Relations, how many people applied for the AMC credit card? How many people were approved? This is all great news, and they can't suppress it forever. And now let's take a look at XRP. Did you know that as of this month, XRP is 11 years old and it's the sixth largest cryptocurrency on the planet by market cap? Well, a lot of people out there are saying this is the month for the resolution of the XRP SEC case. So let's take a look back. XRP's price peaked at $3.84 after the 2017 crypto bull run the sec sued ripple in 2020 and on april 14 2021 the coin rallied up to a dollar 83 on news of a small victory in the case the question remains where will the coin go if it wins the case with the sec so what is the press saying about ripple xrp Three days ago in Forbes, confident Ripple CEO helps the XRP price suddenly outperform Bitcoin. Three days ago from Crypto Potato, Ripple versus SEC lawsuit to wrap up as soon as June. And from AMB Crypto 15 hours ago, Ripple locks 700 million tokens as XRP turns 11. But my favorite from the daily hodl one day ago, XRP could explode by up to 200% predicts analyst who nailed Bitcoin's 2022 bottom. And for those of you interested in doing more research on XRP, I'm going to leave a referral link to uphold in the description of this video. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and please remember to hit the like button after this slide if you enjoyed the presentation. Subscribe to the channel and set the alert so you're notified when I have new information to share. See you at the bell.